Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And God didn't want too much of nothing. Um, girl, some stuff going on. I don't feel like talking about it, but some stuff going on in my family, with my family, and my family. I can't even get my words out. Because some stuff is going on. Something happened in my family. Um, I'll talk about it. I don't know if I'm talking about it or not, girl. Anyway, something happened happened in my family. I ain't washing my ass like in two days, girl. I know my balls stink. Girl, I know my balls probably smell like three o'clock in the middle of July, girl. I'm gonna go take. I'm gonna go wash my ass. I'm gonna go wash my ass after I get off here, girl. Oh, girl. Um, it's just. It, it, it feels like it's just a house. Like I was thinking. This, I was like, girl, just get up and go watch. Just go take a bath. Just go take a bath. I was like, girl, I'm tired. I just been tired like the last couple of days. Like I don't know why I just been tired. Like yesterday, like I woke up at four o'clock and I ate, and I was like so drained and sleepy. And I was like I wanted to go back to sleep. I wanted to go to sleep again. And my sis my sister had texted me because um, I had bought my nieces uh, some clothes and shoes and stuff, and um, they was gonna try them on for me. And so I was, she had texted me. Um, and told me she was about to try the girl's clothes on. And so I said, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna come over in 20 minutes. Girl, by the time I go, girl, I forgot all about it, girl. I looked up, girl, it was three hours had passed. I called her, I was like, oh, girl, I forgot. I was like, girl, I just, girl, my mind was just off. And so, girl, I went over there, you know. Um, girl, they tried them on for me and my brother-in-law. And girl, they were just twirling around, girl. Girl, they think they models, honey. Anyways, but I'm gonna go wash my ass off. I get off here, girl. I barely, but the only reason, girl, I really ain't brush my teeth either, girl. I, I really, girl, the only reason I brush my teeth because I knew y'all was probably gonna be in my mouth, girl. But anyways, girl, I heard there's so much stuff going on with um, Real Housewives of Potomac, girl. I was trying to make some videos, girl. I just didn't have no energy, y'all. I just did not have no energy. Um, but yeah, so I heard a lot was going on with the Real Housewives of Potomac. Girl, um, Candace basically saying that she not going, something is she not going to film or she not going to come back if Monique come back. Girl, her quarters just kept Candace, girl. Girl, you could go. Girl, I'm at a, y'all know, I, I, I'm looking at it from a, I'm looking at it from, from Bravo's point of view, not from my point of view, because I like Candace. But what I'm saying is, is Candace, like the truth of the matter is nobody on, nobody on this show can probably make a threat not to come back and, uh, you know, to get their way in a situation, except for probably, girl, and I don't even like this person, but except for Michael and Ashley, everybody else, y'all can go. Cause the truth of the matter is like, don't nobody want to see, like Candace, don't nobody want to see you and that white man, Chris. Now, if you bring your mama on as ignorant as she is, then girl, yeah. Like, don't nobody want to see Monique and them kids in that bird. Like, as much as I swear up and down y'all love Monique, girl, y'all y'all not going to tune in to see Monique at that house with that bird and them kids. You're not. So stop lying. Um, nobody's going to tune in to see Candace and Chris. They're not. Nobody's going to tune in to see Ray and Karen. They're not. So it's like... Nobody's tuning in to see Juan and Robin and them kids. Nobody's tuning in to see Giselle and them kids, girl. Now, once you start to bring the other people in, that makes the show a mess. Like, once Giselle starts to bring in Jamal, which Jamal said he not coming back, okay, girl, we got something to work with. You know what I'm saying? Once we start to bring in Aunt Dorothy with her ignorant ass, we got something to work with. Once we start to bring in Chris Mama, who like to get on TV and call her daughter-in-law a helpful, we got something to work with. You see what I'm saying? But, like, as... But just them by themselves, just you and your partner and y'all kids, don't nobody want to see that. And I don't, I don't think Candace has enough footing right now to make demands on, girl, I'm not going to come back. Because quiet as it's kept, if I was in there, I'd be like, okay, well, girl, you can go. Because the people don't like your ass anyways. <laughs> I like Candace, but the majority of people don't like Candace because of what Candace did to Ashley. So they use that as an excuse of that's why Monique did what she did to uh, Candace. Girl, y'all so tired lately through, girl. Girl, I was online the other day arguing with somebody and I just stopped. I was like, I'm not supposed to argue with you because everything that they said, girl, they was like, 
Um, Candace done called people bad winches and roaches and threw a knife at somebody. And girl, everything, I said, girl, everything that you just said was something that she did to Ashley. What did she do to Monique? Girl, that's the question y'all can't answer. Cause a girl, not the everybody gonna everybody gonna say she threw a knife at Ashley. Girl, she didn't throw one at Monique though. What she do to Monique? Don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me nothing that got to do with Ashley and Candace. If you gonna bring up, if we gonna talk about Monique and Candace, I wanna know what did Candace do to Monique, not what Candace did to Ashley. Cause if you really wanna go ahead and keep it all the way one hundred, Candace and Ashley, I'm sure, I'm sure. Candace and Monique done had some conversations and woke Ashley ass out. Because once upon a time, not long ago, neither one of them bitches like that bitch. Y'all forgot about that part, huh? But, yeah. Some people saying, some of y'all sent me some, uh, will tag me and some stuff and sent me some emails and stuff that. Um, shit, I lost my train of thought. Fuck. Um, girl, I can, I got it's so much going on right now. Girl, I can't even. Um, Monique, y'all said that Monique had got fired. Um, I don't think Monique got fired. Monique is not gonna get fired because when Bravo and the people look at the public's reaction or how they feel about Monique, girl, the majority of the people love Monique. They love Monique and hate Candace. You know, so they're not going to, they're not going to get rid, they're not going to get rid, they're not going to get rid of Monique and then keep Candace. They're not. And the truth of the matter is like, I, I can get it from, this is the thing, like, I can look at it from all different sides. Let me just explain to you. Like, looking at it from the... Looking at looking at it from Bravo's point of view, it's like, girl, we really can't get rid of Monique because people love Monique. But Monique is not the show. It's called the Real Housewives of Potomac for a reason because it's about it's a, it's an ensemble cast, right? So we can't keep we can't keep Monique if she this bitch don't even feel remorseful what she did, remorseful for what she did. But we want the other ladies to come around her and then what if she snaps again because she didn't like what somebody said like girl you're a liability girl like we can't even trust you we can't even trust you to go to work and do your job because you're gonna fight because at this job you talk shit and you read and you shade the girls and you get the girls together and we can't even trust you as an employee not to put your hands on your co-workers so it's like we, we can't get rid of her because people love Monique. But if the other lady's not gonna film with her, girl, we're not they, they're not going to get rid of Giselle, Robin, and Wynn. Like they're not. They're not gonna just scrape the whole cast just to keep Monique. That's not gonna happen. But it's also like it's kind of like when like Brandy from Basketball Wives. Shawnee couldn't get rid of Brandy on her own. So what she said was Tammy and Evelyn, y'all the biggest stars, don't talk to that bitch. And if you don't talk to her, then she's not gonna have no, she's not gonna have no camera time. If she ain't got no camera time, she's not gonna be on the show. So I feel like even if they kept Monique, if the other ladies are not women willing to film with her, then it's like, girl, what are we gonna do? Because they're not filming with the girl. And girl, ain't nobody gonna sit around and watch Karen and Monique. Girl, they're not. Girl, as much as y'all love Karen and Monique, girl, y'all not tuning in to see Karen and Monique, aka, I guess, a new freaking frack of Potomac. You're not. Girl. Um, so, but like, you know, so it's like, what do we do? Because, girl, you don't even feel remorseful for fighting at work. But then your other co workers don't want to work with you because. They probably feel like, damn, this bitch whooping people ass and can't even, and don't even feel remorseful. So if I slip up or if we get into an argument and she say something, then she gonna whoop my ass. But when I think about it, Monique, Monique is scary low key. Cause she not gonna fight Robin. Cause she walked away from Robin. Cause like, like she fought, the, girl, no T no shade. She fought the smallest person in the group, girl. She not gonna fight Robin. Cause she walked away from Robin. Girl, Robin got in her face, she walked away. Yeah, she ain't, Monique ain't stupid. She's scared, but she ain't stupid. 
Yeah, she ain't gonna. She probably ain't gonna do nothing. She probably ain't gonna do nothing. Cause Sharice had her running out. Of, I just thought about this. Sharice had her running out of the party. She ain't gonna do shit to Ashley. And Ashley ain't gonna do shit to her because she still got that tape. <laughs> she ain't gonna do shit to Robin because Robin had her. Robin had her running out too. She ain't gonna do shit to Giselle because if she was gonna whoop Giselle ass, she should have whooped Giselle ass a long time ago. And she ain't even touched Giselle. She was high fiving Giselle, so we know she ain't gonna hit Giselle. She ain't gonna hit Karen because Karen already let it be known to girl. I'm suing your ass straight off the rip. I guess the other ladies might not have nothing to worry about because she's not gonna touch them. Cause she's scary. Girl, that's all that I can come up with. Cause girl, she picked on the smallest person. She's literally picked on the smallest person in the group. And then when I asked, and then again when I asked y'all what did Candace do to Monique, girl, y'all saw naming everything of what Candace, what happened between Candace and Ashley. Oh girl, she threw a butter knife. Oh girl, did she throw a butter knife? Did she throw, throw a butter knife at Monique? Cause I remember when I, I remember when Candace threw that butter knife at Ashley. Monique said right there, that, right right there in that seat. Everybody everybody stayed in their seats. Well, nobody worried about that butter knife, and Ashley wasn't worried about it either. Cause if she was worried, if she was worried about it, the bitch would have walked out that whole house and wouldn't have came back in three times. But she did. Um, but anyways, so I don't know, child. They probably not gonna get rid. They, I mean, they're not gonna get rid of Monique. But if I had to pick somebody to get rid of, it would be Candace because it's like, girl, I could see their ratings dropping. If they got rid of, rid of Monique and kept Candace, I could see their ratings dropping a lot because so many people like Can um Monique and don't like Candace. But again, like I guess looking from the from the lady standpoint, it's like I'm not supposed to film with this bitch. Like this girl out like here fighting people and not even being remorseful about it. And then girl, you want me to go and shoot a scene with her? You want me to shoot a you want this is what this is what people this is what people want. Yeah, I know she whooped Candace ass. I know she didn't apologize, but you need to go film with this girl while y'all have drinks. And if y'all get into an argument, girl, she could reach over and pop your ass, and girl, nothing is gonna be done. That's why I think that Monique would do better on Love and Hip Hop. She really would. Like Monique would do better on Love and Hip Hop because she likes to fight. And she not and like on Love and Hip Hop, you don't have to feel remorse. Well, girl, you can fight and just go back to work the next day or the next year. I think she should go to Love and Hip Hop New York. I think her and Chris should. Because from what I see, Chris, girl, you like to get in women's faces. Girl, Monique, girl, you like to fight. Girl, I think they should go to Love and Hip Hop. I think that would be the best thing for Chris and Monique. They give me Love and Hip Hop tees anyways. <laughs> Girl, don't see no shade. Girl, I know y'all think I'm being funny. And this is the thing. You know, you know what the real gag is? A lot of y'all was like, you don't even like Monique. You... Going too hard on Monique, girl. I, 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 I said, well, let me go back and listen to my review. Because I usually listen to my reviews anyways. But I was like, let me go back and listen to my review to see what I said. Girl, I, girl, I don't, girl when I said I was laughing. Because, girl, when I, was the, when I was talking about Monique in my last review, girl, I ain't cursed out Monique. I ain't called her no bitch. I ain't called her nothing. Girl, I ain't called her. Girl, I was literally, girl, I was like, girl, you ain't cursed to nothing, girl. I was literally just sitting there talking. What I sound like to me was a friend that was holding another friend accountable. That's what I think I sounded like. Girl, y'all so hell bent on not holding people accountable for the shit that they do. That girl, y'all, y'all get so, it, it fuck y'all up in the head when somebody can get on here. And, and girl, the thing is with me, sweetie, girl, the, the, the thing with me, girl, I can give you a rundown on the shit that your ass done did, right? Right? Like, one thing I will say um, that I forgot to mention, I do wish Candace, from a, from, a, from, a, from a standpoint of, girl, fuck that hoe, I wish Candace wouldn't have been saying nothing at the reunion as it pertained to Monique. Girl, I would have went to that reunion and paid that bitch dust. Everything she said, I just would have been looking, I would have been looking away like this. If, when her segment came up, I would have been looking away. I would have paid that bitch dust. Candace Wells will keep getting on my nerve a little bit at the reunion. Um, but at the end of the day, girl, it's a, it's a reunion for a reason, girl. 
They bring everybody together for a reason, not for everybody just to sit there. Like, I think it's foolish to think that, girl, the girl's going to come to the reunion and they're going to each do their segment and, girl, Andy going to ask some questions. So, what do you feel about this? What do you feel about that? Okay, so next, what do you feel about this? And, girl, nobody's gonna, not going to say nothing. Girl, we just, if, if, if this was going to be like a real interview process where, girl, the girls would answer the question and it wouldn't be any conflict, then, girl, we want to watch. Girl, y'all, <laughs> girl. I don't know what y'all be talking about sometimes. Y'all mad at Andy. Y'all mad at Andy because Andy... Y'all mad at Andy. It's so crazy because when Andy was... The second reunion, when Andy was getting on Candace's ass about the way she tweet, girl, didn't nobody say nothing. But girl, now y'all mad because Candace... Because Andy was low-key getting on Monique's ass for Fight Network. Like, he literally just got into Candace's ass about called her a disaster girl he literally called that girl a disaster and girl y'all didn't say nothing but girl he get on some monique ass about fighting at work and girl it's a problem oh my god he picking on monique girl what what would you tell your what would you tell your employees if they fought at work more than likely they probably both will get fired even though girl we know that candace ain't did shit to uh monique but girl they will probably both get fired but girl, ain't nobody getting up at work and, you know, giving somebody a congratulations because they just fought at work. Girl, y'all, girl, I don't understand what's, that's what I say. That's what I say, girl, I don't know what some of y'all work at. Girl, I really, really don't. But, I'm gonna pray, girl, I, should, I wanted to go to get my, I wanted to go get my nails. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't had a manicure in forever, y'all. And I wanted to go get one, but girl, I done sat here and bit all my nails off. I hate that shit. So I don't have no fucking nails. Girl. That's a mess. But... Anyways, but yeah, um, I get it from, I, I, I can get it from, you know, Monique not going nowhere, but it's so crazy because it's like, it's so crazy because it's like, girl, did I say Jamal, Jamal suing, I think Chris said that if Jamal don't walk back what he said in three days, he gonna sue him. I said so funny just the other day. Y'all was mad. Girl, this is how I know y'all. This is how I know y'all be full of shit. Because, girl, how you gonna be mad at Can You mad at Candace for suing... You mad at Candace for suing Monique for getting her ass whooped. But you not mad at Chris for suing Jamal. Because when Candace sued... When Candace sued Monique, it was, oh, she need the money. But when Chris sued Jamal, it's, oh... And then this is what y'all say. Girl, they suing Jamal. Because I was reading y'all comments. Um, y'all, um, um, she suing Jamal. They suing Jamal because Jamal was lying. Well, how do we know that? How do we know that? How do we know that Monique not lying? Monique, the girl, no, that's the thing. Like, girl, Monique literally sit, sat here and told us 15 different stories of why she, uh, why she, um, hit, um, hit, um, Candace. And the truth of the matter is, I was watching, um, when I was coming back, me and my sister was coming back the other night, I was listening to, uh, Rock's Nam and Funky Nam review. And I do think that's what happened. I do think that can I do think that Monique got that tape and she studied that tape because girl, as I said, girl, one more, one minute you say you blacked out. God, I feel talking about that shit, girl. You, I blacked out. But girl, now you giving a, well, I, what triggered me was when she put her hand, when her hand uh, was underneath my chin. Girl, her hand was underneath your chin. Girl, you're lying. Girl, first it was, girl, I blacked out. Then it was, um, girl, what triggered me was her hand underneath my chin. But girl, if her hand was, in, uh, was underneath your chin, then girl, why did you not hit her until after she said, what you gonna do, drag me? Girl, that's what I said. Monique, Monique has proven herself to be a bona fide liar. Girl, what about Gigi? Bitch, that's what I should have been talking about, girl. Girl, Gigi out here telling all of it. It's so funny, girl, because everybody say Gigi is lying. But the truth of the matter is, let's go Let's go ahead and keep it all the way motherfucking 100, bitch. Girl, when you best friends with somebody for 20 years, your best friends, you know each other's secrets. 
You know what each other bones are buried. You know what you know what closet the skeletons are in, girl. You know. So y'all can sit here and try to say that GG GG lying, GG lying. But girl, from what y'all from what I read, they said GG and Monique been best friends for 20 years. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about the time. But that was best friends. And for the most part, usually best friends know each other business. Haven't I always jo joke with y'all and told y'all, girl, I will never stop being my friends. Um, I will never stop being my friends, friends, because girl, they know they know too much of my business. And I'm mad that girl they're gonna be out here, they're gonna be out here telling the blogs, girl, this what Rodney did at TSU, this what Rodney did, girl, this what Rodney did in two thousand uh, in two thousand twelve. Rodney ain't did none of that shit, girl. We friends to the motherfucking end, bitch. <laughs> Hello? Y'all got me fucked up. It's so funny. I've seen people calling Gigi a liar. Gigi might be lying. But girl, like I also really believe too, girl, when you best friends with people, girl, you know each other's secrets. You know each other's secrets. Gigi could very well be telling, about, telling lies and she could very well be jealous of Monique's lifestyle. Let's just be honest, girl. You can tell what y'all want to say about Girl, this is my thing, girl. If Monique, if Monique this, is, this is the thing. I will say this much too about Candace. If this is too much for Candace, I do think Candace should leave the show. Because as much as I as much as I'm I'm not faulting Candace for feeling the way that she feels, but if it's to the point where your mental state is fucked up, you should leave the show. The same for Monique. Monique, you claim this is like, this ain't nothing but a little check compared to what Chris but you said girl, this is this, first of all, these, Monique, let me let me tell you something, baby. When you get on TV talking about Girl, the check that I bring in, that ain't nothing compared to what Chris bring in. No, no, what you should have been saying, the check that we bring in compared to the other money that we have, this is nothing compared to that. Not the check I bring in compared to what Chris bring in. Because at that point, girl, you already letting us know that, girl, you wouldn't be shit without Chris money. What you should have been saying, what you should have been saying was the money that we bring in on Real Housewives of Potomac is not is nowhere near compared to the money that we bring in, you know, through our other jobs or through the investments that we've made, not through the investment that Chris has made. Because, girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. so dumb. That's how Chris, my Ashley did the same thing. Why would I be mad? My husband is a millionaire. No, we're millionaires. Y'all won't be shit. That's what I say, girl. Y'all can get mad at Candace all y'all want, but bitch, y'all won't be shit without these niggas. Y'all done pretty much, not pretty much said it. You said it out of your own mouth. Girl, I need to get y'all, I need to get y'all together, girl. Whenever y'all talking about money, it's always we. Especially when you know for a fact, girl, he got way more than you. It's we. Girl, it's us. Our. Girl, what the fuck? Girl, that's all, girl. I'll probably be back tomorrow, girl, to talk some more. I just want to come up here and talk. I was like, hopefully it made me feel a little better. Um, but yeah, shout out to Potomac. You know, like I said, I, I can understand. Like, Candace, you ain't got enough footing, baby, to be making no demands. Because quiet as a skip, bitch. If I was in them, I'd be like, okay, well, girl, you can go. Because quiet as a skip, girl, the people don't like your ass anyways. So bye. <laughs> girl. And if Monique, girl, if anything, if Monique had any type of motherfucker sense, that bitch would be asking for a motherfucking raise. But she not. But I guess it don't matter because she said it's just a look check anyway. So I guess she not there for the money. She might hopefully, maybe she there for the exposure. Because we know the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Them hoes ain't there for the money, girl. Them hoes ought to be, them hoes ought to be famous. Doree, Kent, Kyle, and all of them hoes ought to be famous. They ain't there for that goddamn look. Now that's a look check for them, girl. I don't know how much money Krista made. Um, but... Anyways. Oof. I don't know when I don't know I don't know if I make I don't know how many videos I'm making next weekend. I know next week next weekend I'm not gonna make a video. Oh god, I need to. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. I gotta go out of town next weekend. Um not like on a trip. Not like on a trip trip, but 
I gotta go out. Of, go out. Of, I got. I can't even talk. I have to go out of town next week. And um, but anyways, I don't feel like talking about that. But so yeah. Um, shout out to um Potomac, honey. Shout out to Potomac. Y'all think Gigi telling the truth? Y'all think that bitch lying? I think Gigi might be telling the truth. I don't know, but she could be lying. So listen to you. You really just never know. But like, yeah, I don't know. But we know birds of a feather flock together. Ain't that what they say? <laughs> yeah. But that's not necessarily true either. That's not necessarily true either. I know that. Not, I know that not to be true. So that that's not necessarily true. But girl, for the most part, girl. Then I think people was mad at Candace for responding to Portia. <laughs> Girl, y'all weird. Like, the simple fact that y'all think that, like, like, Portia can get on TV or get wherever she at and say whatever she want to say that got to do with Monique and Candace, but Candace can't say nothing back because, well, you know Portia is ghetto when I like to fight and Monique is ghetto when I like to fight. So, girl... Yes, ghetto. Because let me just say something. Who was the, who said this other? I think it was Erica or somebody, girl. Bitch, if you 40 and fighting in barns, bitch, you ghetto. And that's just the... That's just the if your ass ain't defending yourself because somebody just tried to violate you or, you know, somebody walked up and whatever, did whatever. But for you to be 40 and fighting in barns, for you to be 40 and fighting in ball gowns, bitch, you ghetto. And y'all can call it what the fuck y'all want to call it. It's ghetto as fuck. But y'all love that shit. We love that shit. We love that shit. Because like I said, it's the reason why we all love Tammy and um, Evelyn. Because that was the most ignorant bitches on the show. God, don't sit here and just bit all my lip. Girl, this girl. Girl, it's a mess over here. I need to go wash my ass. Anyways. But yeah. I don't know, y'all. I just want to come. I said, maybe if I get on her, girl. I feel a lot better. Run my mouth a little. You know, mess always makes shit better. I keep telling y'all, girl, mess make the world go round, girl. Y'all girls ain't believe me, honey. Um, I started to go live. Maybe I should go live. It's late, but I have seen people live and late, and it'd be late before. But. Hmm. Would you feel? Would you? Would you feel with a bitch who just who who? If you was at work and a girl was fighting people at work and girl she didn't have a remorse, girl, would you want to? Would you want to be in her group? <laughs> Hell no! I'm not working with that motherfucking girl. No, she like to fight, bitch. She like to fight, and then she ain't got no remorse. And so y'all gonna bring her back, girl? Put us in another situation where we drinking and talking shit, and she could reach over and hit me, and then girl ain't nothing gonna happen again. Girl, absolutely not. I would if if I was the other girls, if I was if I was Giselle, Wendy, Robin, I wouldn't want to film with her either. Not if she out here fighting people and not feeling no, no way about it. Girl, no ma'am. Fuck that. You film with the bitch. I'm not filming with her. Anyways, I'm gone. Bye y'all.